There is a new digital currency being tested in Toronto. Imagine a world where you make liquidity of cash digital, where you get paid in real time. It leads us into an era of rewriting because it means complete forms of alternative movements of money. My name is Lawrence Cook, and we'd like to replace cash with digital cash. Nanopay has a transaction platform that moves value from one entity to another in real time without an intermediary. We reduce the risk, the speed, and the cost of a transaction. Most transaction systems, they do a transaction up front, and then later on there's a settlement process, which actually moves the money. And in our environment, you don't need to do that anymore. You open the app, and you scan a QR code, or you tap it against an NFC terminal, and the transaction's done. We're taking a cash note and we're just encrypting it and digitizing it and moving that digital asset from one person to another. Introducing Mintchip. Say goodbye to bills and coins and hello to digital cash. A Mintchip is the core technology and the consumer brand of our platform. Mintchip is a physical chip that stores value on it. So we have this virtualized security deposit box that we hold in the cloud. So we're going to pay with this using Minship. Okay, so it's going to be 10.50. I've got my consumer app open. I've got a balance ready to go, $334. Todd's generated the QR code, which I'm now going to scan by pressing Pay Merchant. It opens up my camera. I hover it over the QR code. And right away, I confirm with my Touch ID that it's in fact me putting through the payment. And that's it. Credit card is slower, so you only get paid in a few days. You have to pay uh, higher fees. There's risk that the card is stolen, in which case the merchant doesn't get paid. The advantage of real-time transaction is no risk of the transaction not happening or being reversed. This has fundamental changes. Today, a lot of business transactions are done with checks. That's slow. It has to be manually reconciled. And in our platform, you don't need to do that bank reconciliation anymore. If you move to the opposite end of the spectrum and you go to the poorest people in the world, there are over 2 billion people that are unbanked, mainly because no bank can afford to serve them. This platform enables financial institutions to serve the unbanked. So if we can get rid of cash and be a cashless society, that's better for all participants. As currency becomes more digital in nature and more ephemeral, you are seeing dramatic shift on the planet around transference of wealth, access to wealth generation, where the rise of new forms of currency is going to be a very, very big part of the next decade. Banks are either going to change and innovate or become largely less relevant and this incredible technological initiative and disruption, whilst initially seen as a threat, is a great catalyst for uh, moving their organizations toward business models that are much more relevant to the customer of today. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechol Kodash, that honors to my apostles and others, the great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the whole flock, all here pushing this truth and sincerity. The Bible of what you do, we love you, we appreciate you to be spread of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Shalom. All right, it's your brother Dawah Dai here, and just one scripture, you know, because this is further proof that they're trying to make this world, the earth, is to, into a... Uh, Cashless society, okay. Um, but I mean, what further proof do you really need? You know, I guess I'll probably put that as uh, the video title because my apostles and elders, a great millstone, have been teaching you people and warning you people that there is going to be a coming economic, uh, a comet, so like it, <laughs> a coming economic collapse. All right, and um. That they were going to try to make this place into a cashless society due to that collapse, all right, which was which is planned, all right. It's a premeditated collapse, and you know they're going to replace physical currency with digital currency, and that's what they've been trying to do. You know, you notice Bitcoin and stuff like that, um, and this this nano pay that you just saw in the video, and if you notice, what are they uh? What are they? Uh, what are they putting in their? Uh, basically, you. What what instrument are they using for these digital current? Uh, digital uh, transactions.
It's uh, the either RFID microchip or the NFC microchip. And ultimately, it's not going to matter what form, what kind of microchip they use or any, you know, anything that they if you have something implanted inside of your body. OK, and it's from Esau or anything in general, just just know that most likely it's going to be the mark of the beast. All right. And we'll get the scripture right here. So it's proven. OK, um, this is Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. And he causes all both small and great, rich and poor. Now, Matt, now mind you, because remember, he, he, he was talking about two billion people that are unbanked. Now that's a problem for who you call the Illuminati, all right? That is the elite of the um, of the Edomites ruling the world, all right? The bank, large banking families, all right? That's a problem for them because they're missing out on money, and you know they're the most greedy uh, people in the world, all right? They don't even care about their own people, all right? Those ego Edomites, what are the so-called uh, white people, all right? Uh, fake Jews, all right? They run the world, and if two billion people are unbanked, that's potentially billions and billions of dollars that they're not getting all right because they want to be able to track all the money in transactions all right so that they can be the ones in control of the money they want all because they have all the wealth right and they do it by stealing you, your people's money and you don't even see it all right taking your taxes all right not just that but um taxing on a whole lot of other things and different uh avenues that they take the money from you all right all right and you you people don't see it because you're not woke all right, the most high has blinded you. All right, but notice how, um, you know, that that's a big thing from two billion people unbanked. That means they're losing out on a, on a shitload of money, you know, even though they already have it all. You know, it says, and he causes all both small and great, rich and poor. All right, and who are those two billion people? Those are, those are the people, uh, uh, that are in, in poverty. All right, which is, you know, you, you so called black, the majority is you so called blacks, Native American, and Latino men and women, which is why. Revelation uh, chapter two said he um I know I know the the thy poverty but thou art rich all right why are you rich because you have the blessings all right and we're soon gonna be back into our kingdom all right verse sixteen says and he calls it all both small and great rich and poor free and bond all right and you've seen the um like um like they show you in the movie the the first purge where um. You know, they're giving like prisoners, uh, you know, GPS tracking for them to, to come out and, you know, and purge or, you know, you know, just to roam free in the world, you know. But they said, well, as long as we get to track, you know, and how do they do that? They put it, they implanted uh, GPS into them, you know, they, you know, you know, and and, and that's what's going to happen. All right. I'm pretty sure that I'm willing I'm willing to the. To, to, to bet that they have already done that because you have these uh these inmates that go outside on furloughs to do work um they're fighting the california wildfires and i heard that some of them are doing uber and shit like that you know and they, they need a way to track these people they probably gave them the chip all right all right and it says to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads all right all right that's the that's the uh, that's the microchip whether it be rfid or nfc or whatever form of of uh, tracking device, all right, because the they want to they want to track the whole, they want to track the world, all right, not just the money, but just the, but the people as well. You know what I'm saying? They want to track everything you do. You're going in, you're going ins and coming, and um, you're going outs and you're coming ins. They want to know all 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 aspects of your life, all right, all right. They want to dwell into your privacy. They want to dwell into your lives. They live. <laughs> All right, and it says, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Now, it said that no man might buy or sell. So, the reason why they're trying to turn this into a cashless society is because why? Let's say, and they're going to make it mandatory too, because now if they keep, let's say they have this, this these forms of digital currency, but they keep um, cash. They allow, keep allowing people to use cash. Well, people are going to say, well, I don't need the microchip. I can just use the cash. All right. But that's not going to happen because it says in that no man might buy or sell. Now, you would be able to buy or sell if you had cash and the cash was relevant. Right. Therefore, they're going to make it mandatory that you have to take the microchip. All right. They're going to make it mandatory that this is a cashless society. All right. So the video we just watched there was showing you what the, the beginnings of them uh, uh, inducing people. All right. 
one of the one of the beginnings because they've been doing it. All right, with these credit cards, these debit cards, and uh, checks and stuff, they're trying to get rid of cash. All right, they've been doing it for a while, gearing you people up. All right, and they make it so convenient for people. They say, look, all you gotta do is tap. You don't have to carry your wallet no more. All right, all this information is gonna be in your your uh, chip. All you gotta do is tap your hand on the you know on the on a receiver and it'll uh make the transaction it it make it seem like it's so uh convenient because uh, because it's, it's faster all right it's not a it probably won't be no lines in the grocery stores and things that of that of that nature you know you just walk in you just you know sway your hand and then you're you're in and you're out you know what i'm saying you know they they got it in pets pets don't you know pets can't get lost because of that your cars can't get lost so what more your children you know let's microchip your children so that they can't get you know kidnapped you know all the drug uh sex trafficking going on the kidnapping and all the things like that then because why if you get the chip that's not going to happen all right so these are the things that they want to, to, to say to you guys to, to, to smooth you over because esau's <laughs> The the words are smoother than butter, man. You know, the words are smoother than butter, and that's how they take over the world by pretending that they're they're uh they're they're nice, uh home homely people, you know, with morals and they're brave. Land of the free, home of the brave. You know, they always try to come in that mentality and and that vibration, but but in their mouths, uh, um, smoother than butters, but uh, but war is in their their hearts. All right, they come talking peace, but they come, but they draw swords. You know, roughly paraphrasing, but um, never trust thy enemy, man. Scriptures tell you never trust thy enemy. You know, I believe it's Ecclesiastes chapter twelve. You know, verse ten. But um, we're not to trust this devil, man. All right, Job nine and twenty four says the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. All right, they rule the world, and it says it also says he covereth the faces of the judges thereof. All right, who puts the white images on every goddamn thing, on everything biblical? Okay, any any movie you see, all right, even even the Egyptians are, are biblical, right? And 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 they put white people in them. Like if you go back and watch those old movies, the Ten Commandments and stuff like that, you see they whitewashed everything, man. They try to say that even the damn so called Africans and Hamites were fucking white people, man. You know, they whitewash everything. All right, but they but the ultimate whitewashed image that they did, which was pure blasphemy, which they're gonna get destroyed for, is is putting up the image of our of the Most High and His Son as as so called white men. All right, and it's fucking blasphemy, man, and they gotta pay for that shit. It says He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. So are they, how are they not the wicked? And then it go on to says, uh, if not, then where if where if not where and who is? Which is true. Alright, so with that one, give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rechokodash, that bond us to my apostles, that was a great millstone who were well. Peace and salutations to hope for let, push and truth and sincerity. Shalom.